Okay, so this is part two of Hoover. Um, you'll see that we've emptied the bin and uh, we've put some leaves and shredded cardboard in here and some moisture. I've got a scoop here of vermicompost from one of my worm tower systems. It actually probably has some worms in it uh, that I'm just going to mix in here. And the reason we're going right back in the saddle here is um, we actually did find quite a few uh, living worms in Hoover. Um, and as we dug down into the uh, vermicompost that was in Hoover, um, I don't think I'll call this bin Hoover anymore because it wasn't a successful vacuum experiment. The worms found um, pockets to um, survive. And, um, and what we think happened, like I was wondering, is it moisture? Was it too much moisture? And the 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 dust um you know balls of dog fur and whatever smothered them and but they loved that piece that i gave them out of the vacuum before so i was like what is it that made them so vulnerable this time around and but then uh, as we dug down we got an overwhelming smell of ammonia and now i've never had a worm die off um so I don't know if the ammonia smell is from worms, but I actually think it was from the wet vacuum dust. I really made sure it was wet because I was worried that it would be dusty and too dry. And uh, I'm wondering if that gave, because it was quite an overwhelming ammonia smell. And so even though this bin doesn't have a lid on it, I actually think the worms died um, from uh, that smell. I'm adding a comment here in the middle of my update on the Hoover disaster slash recovery because I did learn that dog fur contains microorganisms that react differently when they are wet and then allowed to dry somewhat. Period. This is responsible for the characteristic wet dog smell. And what happens is when the bacteria explode with new moisture, and then start to die off as moisture recedes somewhat. They release toxins that will kill worms. So a big caution to anyone putting dog hair in their bins. So we've got two uh, bundles of worms here to put back in. Uh, we put some healthy vermicompost on a plate and then we were adding worms, but there is still little elements of the vacuum uh, uh, dust in here because we really couldn't separate the worms from the dust. So I, I'm going to be putting these worms, and there's cocoons, by the way. We found cocoons. Now, there may be dead worms, um, probably not a, a lot, because we, we tried to, to just grab little bundles of living worms. But, you know, like I said, we did grab little bundles of the vacuum dust, and, and there may very well be uh, a dead worm in there. Um, but I'll, I'll, you know, look for it and uh, I'll put a warning on the video if there is. Okay, um, so we'll just put some of those worms right in there. So they're out of Hoover. So there they go. Now, the, the, you know, this, um, uh, there's, he's alive. Um, uh, these, uh, this bin is brand new. I, I'm not even using my aged bedding for this. I'm just checking to make sure there are no wisps on this. Okay, not even going to use my aged bedding for this. I'm just going to let them go to town on this leaves and shredded cardboard mixture. And, uh, and there was a good healthy scoop of vermicompost in there. Uh, so this is a little tricky for me. I'm trying to go around our hanging baskets here in the greenhouse. So here's a, a much larger uh, clump of the worms. So like I estimated, there was probably about a couple hundred, but you know, we probably saved three or four hundred. So um, I actually think we saved a good portion of them, but we also did find dead ones. So there's no doubt that there were dead ones. In fact, I'm just looking, is that a dead one right there? Um, that might be a dead one right there, yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'll put a warning on the video. That's a, that's a, that I'll put them on the other tray and ask my husband to keep an eye on him, see if he moves. Um, but yeah, the dead ones that we found, are you dead? Oh, da darn it, his poor video. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, sorry about that, folks. I, we, we did try to, 
to take out any of the ones that were dead. Um, but uh, I actually think just by um, putting, no, he's fine, he's fine, he moved. Um, by putting the uh, air into the bin, if it was an ammonia problem, I think we stopped the dying just by doing that. So there is a little bit of vacuum material in here. See, there's a worm and he's fine. There's another worm and they're fine. So they're just stuck to this wet tray now. So I'll just try to pick them up with my slippery. Sometimes if you get something else, like a here's a leaf, uh, it makes it easier to pick them up. Um, this one's a little bigger. On my finger, in you go. And this one's even bigger yet. There we go. So let's take a look in the bin now and see how many we have. <laughs> Wish we could edit that part out of the video. We're not that good at editing yet. Um, so here are the worms that were in the... Um, see, so, you know, there's, there's a good several hundred worms in here. Um, and they are alive and kicking. And so a happy ending of source, sorts that um, we did get a lot of Hoover's worms out of here. Uh, there was actually not a lot of castings in Hoover, so I didn't um, have to throw out a lot of castings um, because I had done, uh, I, it was my matured bedding bin, as you know. I'm just checking my fingers for wisps. Um, and so I had just used a lot of the uh, bedding in one of my other worm systems. So that's just why I added the vacuum dust to it because I thought, well, if, the, um, if they need bedding, maybe I'll try the vacuum dust. And so, um, like I said, these worms um, were alive and kicking in here. Uh, they've got new bedding now, but they're in their old bin. We just gave it a good rinse. And so this bedding that is on the top here uh, came out of that vacuum bin, but there's lots of places for the worms to go to get out of it, and I will give them some. I will give them some food, and uh, and because this uh, bin is not inoculated um, fully, I'll give them some fresh food to eat. And by the way, that's where the worms were mostly clustered. Is where I had fed last in the bin. So that piece of watermelon actually ended up saving them. Let's just set and let's just make sure this worm is alive right over here. Uh, yeah, yeah, there he goes. All right, so good news. Happy ending of source, sorts, and we'll keep an eye on Hoover from now on. I'll just give him a little bit of food. All right, bye everyone.